Guest video. Niels Bo. Atoms and Human Knowledge, Public Lecture 1957. This guest video is a recording, without visuals, of a public lecture given by Dr. Niels Bo. Niels Henrik David Bo was a Danish physicist who received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. At the time he received the prize he had just developed the Bo model of the atom, a model which came to him in a dream. Because the people who interpreted the dream were physicists, they interpreted the dream in physical, materialistic, terms. But the dream did not tell him this. Dr. Shafika Karagala. Breakthrough to Creativity. Niels Bohr, the well-known atomic scientist, had a strange dream in his student days. He dreamed that he was on a sun which consisted of burning gas. There were planets that moved swiftly around this sun, attached by thin filaments. And we know his interpretation was not based on a physical interpretation because of something he said at his first meeting with Werner Heisenberg in early summer 1920, in response to questions on the nature of language. The quote was reported in discussions about language 1933. Quoted in Defense Implications of International Indeterminacy, 1972, by Robert J. Pranger, page 11, and Therizing Modernism, Essays in Critical Theory, 1993, by Steve Giles, page 28. He said, We must be clear that when it comes to atoms, language can be used only as in poetry. The poet, too, is not nearly so concerned with describing facts as with creating images and establishing mental connections. And in Atomic Physics and the Description of Nature, 1934, he said, Isolated material particles are abstractions, their properties being definable and observable only through their interaction with other systems. In other words, we know atoms only by their effects. What they actually look like we have no idea, but if the effect repeats in response to a specific cause, that understanding is valuable. Analogously if I send a script to my video maker and what comes back is a video, the actual workings of my video maker are unknown to me, all I know is that the effect of providing him with a script is the same, a world-class video. Who he is and what he is has been a mystery to me anyway, from the very start. Background to Niels Bohr Niels Henrik David Bohr was born on the 7th of October, 1885 in Copenhagen, Denmark and died the 18th of November, 1962. In 1903, Bohr enrolled as an undergraduate at Copenhagen University. He studied physics under Professor Christian Christiansen, the university's only professor of physics at that time. Bo also studied astronomy and mathematics under Professor Thorvald Thiele, a Danish astronomer and director of the Copenhagen Observatory, and philosophy under Professor Harald Hofding, who gave lectures on Unri Bergson. Unri Bergson has an entry on our website. And Soren Kierkegaard, he too has an entry on our website. Heisenberg even said of Bo that he was primarily a philosopher, not a physicist. Bo founded the Niels Bo Institute in Copenhagen in 1921, in order that a physics institute existed and it attracted researchers from the Netherlands, Hungary, Poland, Sweden and Norway. Bo knew that as each thing being studied was essentially a black box, because our senses would always prevent us from finding the inner workings. A classical approach to studying and documenting the result was key. The Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Winter 2019 edition. The account of all evidence must be expressed in classical terms. The argument is simply that by the word experiment, we refer to a situation where we can tell to others what we have done and what we have learned and that, Therefore, the account of the experimental arrangement and of the results of the observations must be expressed in unambiguous language with suitable application of the terminology. 
of classical physics. The truth conditions of sentences ascribing a certain kinematic or dynamic value to an atomic object are dependent on the apparatus involved in such a way that these truth conditions have to include reference to the experimental setup as well as the actual outcome of the experiment. In some ways, Bo is explaining the result many blind men trying to describe an elephant face. We are all blind really and depending on which bit of the elephant we find, each will provide a different view. But all views are valid until a complete picture emerges. The video. Use the name of the video to search for it on YouTube. Niels Bo, Atoms and Human Knowledge, Public Lecture 1957. A transcript is provided for those who find the lecture difficult to follow. I urge you to read the transcript as the points he makes are easily lost in the poor quality of the recording. And as Heisenberg says these are the words of a philosopher and bear scrutiny.